In this post, someone talked about classic game team incompetence explained, and how the balance of Warcraft 3 is particularly bad. He says that the balance changes are bad, and it makes Warcraft bad. Uh, they buff too many characters. Bat riders aren't fun. Okay. Uh, the copters have too much health. So what we're gonna do here, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how. This is my video. That I'm gonna explain how to fix the balance of Warcraft 3, and we're gonna do this right now, once and for all. So uh, let me just uh, open up the balance right here, and we're gonna we're gonna fix it. See, this is you don't actually need uh, Blizzard Entertainment. Uh, if you want to fix the balance of Warcraft 3, so I'm going to explain you how to do that. So first off, it uh, looks like this guy says bat riders are toxic. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, oh it's bat rider one word right. We're going to go to bat rider uh, and we're just going to go to the bestiary that makes those and we're going to say that uh, it doesn't make those anymore because they're they're toxic. So we'll get rid of that. Okay. Oh and don't forget this is important. Uh, we need to be we need to be using the melee data set. We use the latest patch, right? I'm building the latest patch of the game. Okay, so I deleted the bat riders because those are overpowered. So we're gonna get rid of liquid fire because we don't need that anymore. And then um, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're going to they said we need to nerf the blade master. So the blade master is is clearly too good. Uh, the problem with the Blade Master is that he's an agility hero, and agility heroes are just generally overpowered. So we're going to make him an intelligence hero, and then just flip his agility value with his intelligence value because, you know, why not? Blade Masters are overpowered. Uh, instead of Blade Storm, uh, we're actually going to give the Blade Master a different ability. I think maybe what we'll do is uh what's a good what do you guys think is a good ability that's a good question what does this guy say to do about okay nerf blade master uh start nerf okay everybody's nerfed they're nerfed too much they made it non-fun let's just make uh we'll make blade storm what are we gonna do to blade storm we'll, we'll, we'll reduce the damage that's a good that's a good setting so we'll reduce the damage on that uh and then we'll make mirror images uh, you only you get only one, but he takes uh, he takes a reducing amount of damage over time. All right, great. So now we nerfed the blade master, so we fixed that. But the problem is uh, the problem is the copters have too much health. So we're gonna go to the flying machine, and just for the record, he calls them copters because it should have been called gyrocopter anyway. So we're gonna change this guy's name to. Uh, Gyrocopter, uh, but that's fine, right? And of course, if you change that, you have to make sure that your workshop, which says trains flying machines, it needs to now say uh, trains gyrocopters. That's important. Uh, that you just it's it's consistent that way. So now I fixed the gyrocopter, uh, but the problem is these have too much hit points. Apparently, 120 or uh, 250 is too much. So we're going to reduce that to 120. Should be in line with the Skeleton Warrior, uh, which is okay. It's 190. So actually, I was reading about this online. Someone was complaining it's too hard to beat when you summon a lot of skeletons. So we're going to reduce that to uh, Skeletal Mage is only going to have 190, so it dies to anti-magic, 200 damage. Okay, good. I read that. Well, there's another post. Someone said you need to do that. All right, uh, Siege Tank is too good because uh, 1v1 is too good. Uh, so tanks are amazing in 4v4. So the buff is not good because they buffed barrage. Okay, uh, and you'll die if you want to make tanks viable. You have to make them tier two since they cost a lot and take a long time to build. You can't do that because they're way too good. So just drop it. Leave them as they were. So I guess apparently they they improved barrage. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to uh, to the tank, the siege engine, and we're going to fix this barrage attack. So the idea of barrage is you have multi-shot. You have a multi-shot with this air attack, but apparently it does too much damage. So we're just going to reduce that, and we'll just go to the barrage ability, 
and we'll just reduce that one too. Uh, the barrage ability is hard coded to do n plus three attacks, so like it does twelve attacks because it has nine on here. So if I put five, it'll do eight attacks. So now now we've effectively uh, put that back to where uh, it's better. This guy thinks it can hit nine units because he read in the editor and he didn't read the C++ code, so he's not very good. Uh, let's see, tier two reinforced defenses. Um, a new tool for orcs to make the game last forever. Okay, well, that's uh, more efficient. Okay, he just doesn't like this. Reinforced defense should be tier three. All right, that's pretty easy. Let's do that. Uh, basically, you go in here to orc to reinforce defenses, and instead of stronghold, <clears throat> it should require. Oh, I thought it was a uh, fortress. There we go. Put the fortress on there. That'll fix him. Uh, Keeper of the Grove uh, is just a violated hero. So we need to unviolate him. All right, entangles bad. We reduce the range from 800 to 600. No one's happy. Uh, let's see, is it dispellable ability? Uh, let's see. Should be typed in access here, but access. Nerf, nerf, DPS. Any shots torn. Back to the drawing bar, slight buff in my rear. Okay, anyway, slightly buff entangles. So I think what we need to do is we'll just go to entangling roots over here. And uh, we'll just make it, they changed it to 600 range. We're going to go back to 800 because that sounded good. But I guess they made these keepers of the grove too powerful. So we got to take away this invulnerability on tranquility. We'll get rid of that. Um, and then I don't I didn't read what the balance team did to this guy. Okay. Uh, he would prefer nerfing of water elementals. So I guess they buffed the force of nature. I forget how they buffed it, so let's just nerf it slightly. Uh, force of nature should cost I was pretty sure it used to cost 125 mana, so we're gonna make it cost 110, but I'm probably making that up. And then we'll go to uh, water elementals, which clearly I guess need to be nerfed. We'll make this summon sea elemental. How about that? Because those are funny. Are those weaker than water elemental? They probably are. Let's see, sea elemental has 550 hit points. Uh, reef elemental is really bad. What about water elemental? Okay, 500. Oh, see, that's already a sea elemental. That's really powerful. See, if a reef elemental has 300 hit points, a water elemental should have 300 hit points. That's just common sense. Uh, and then we'll do 425. And then uh, 825 is going to be uh, 625. There we go. So we've nerfed these guys a little bit. Um, the other thing is they have... Uh, is this true? Do they have area of effect damage? Surely not. No, they don't. They don't have their, their weapon type set to actually utilize it. Uh, they got too much too much strength for nerfing them. So we're going to see 30 here is going to become 20. Uh, 20s, okay, uh, I'm gonna put a 9 in there. So we nerfed the water elemental, that was too good. Alright, great. Uh, oh, this guy says Thorns Aura should be buffed, but it was left untouched. Alright, so we're gonna go to Thorns Aura, we're gonna buff that. Thorns Aura. Uh, let's see, deal damage to attackers. We'll just do double damage to attackers of what it used to be. And, you know, why not? Uh, we'll do some good damage. Okay, uh... Tranquility is crazy. That's a lot of changes. They made it heal mechanical units. No. 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 Tranquility only targets organic. Okay. We're not going to be scrub lords here. Don't do that. Um, and the duration. Like, tranquility is supposed to last as long as Starfall. How long does Starfall last? Starfall lasts like 30 to 45 seconds. Which one of these does it use? I have to go read the C++ again. All right. Uh, it needs to last as long as Starfall, right? I mean, everybody knows the idea of tranquility is, is a love affair between Furion and Tyrande. Tranquility and Starfall, they have to last the same amount of time. Whoever thought that was not a good idea, that's just bad. What Do you, do you not appreciate love? All right. Uh, let's see. Entangle... Is too good. I guess I guess we made like entangle too good because I increased the range back. So damage. What is that supposed to be? Uh, oh, it's supposed to be a ten. I like ten, twelve, twenty. Okay, we'll we'll nerf that a little bit because I put the range back. All right, great. Mountain giants. Uh, viable. Uh, nobody ever did it. Mountain giants. Unappreciated. 
Uh, food has been put back to seven, but they're still cheaper. Okay, a mountain giant costs the same as a hero, okay? If a mountain giant costs less than a hero, we're going to nerf it back. So it should cost the same as a hero. Look at that. 350? No, no, no. What's the... What is the cost of a keeper to grow? 425. Okay, a mountain giant is the cost the same as a hero. Lumber cost of 100. Lumber cost of... Okay, so you, you get a mountain giant or you get a hero. Let's deliver it, okay? Don't mess it up. All right, great. Um... That's all I got for now. Oh, look at that. That's all this guy has. All right, what other changes do we have that we need to implement? Uh, balance. Remove the tinker. Oh, okay. We got to remove the tinker, guys. We got to do that one. Uh, we'll go to uh, tavern. And instead of tinker, uh, we'll make this thing train. We need, we need a new hero replacement for the tinker, though, because we need to have the same number of heroes. So I guess we'll just probably have to put Sylvanas Windrunner on there. Sylvanas with an A. Sorry guys, I spelled Sylvanas wrong. That's just horrible. Um, so yeah, we'll just take Sylvanas Windrunner and we'll just have Sylvanas be uh, a, a hero now. So this is going to be called the Ranger. It's uh, it's the Ranger hero. It needs to have multiple names. So let's. Uh, what what else do we put on here? Sylvanas Windrunner, Illyria Windrunner. Uh, what are some other names? Uh, rangers. What are some good ranger heroes? Lady Lalabeth. I'm just making up some names, you know. Uh, Sally Lightfoot, you know. Um, we need another one of Sheila North Star. Okay, great. So we got some ranger names. That's pretty important. Um, and then what we're gonna do we can we can recategorize this so it's not a campaign unit. So it'll display as being. Uh, I think it needs to display as neutral hostile. And the race needs to be set to creep in order for it to be a uh, in with the other hero. Oh, I guess it's not display as neutral hostile. That's what it is. It's creeps. It's non neutral hostile creep hero. There we go. So now we have the Ranger in here alongside Tinker, Beastmaster, and these other ones. And one of the keys is going to be, let's copy the Tinker's little tooltip on the Ranger. Uh, we'll use the same hot key for the Ranger as the Z from the Tinker, because, uh, you know, we got to fit that in. So we'll, uh, we'll put in the Ranger, because as this guy said online, Tinker's overpowered. It needs to get removed. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll copy the uh, Priestess of the Moon tooltip. Because uh, it's probably pretty close to the ranger's tooltip. Let's see. Uh, summon ranger. Great. So now we have this ranger hero. It has cold arrows, scout, true shatterer, and starfall. Uh, that's a reasonable lineup. Let's see. Killer, scout, cold arrows, true shatterer, and starfall. Uh, the other thing that's really, really significant is going to be the way that the requirements work. Right, that the ranger needs to require any altar, needs to require any tier three hall, uh, any tier two hall. All of those need to just be assigned to exactly match, and uh, also should have the stock starting delays set to match with the tinker. Uh, this is also very important. So we have to have this one zero one thirty five of our starting delays. So that we have a ranger. Uh, as a tavern hero, also want to make sure that the button position matches the tinker, so we just put that 2-2 two, two in there on the ranger, uh, so it's going to be right where the tinker used to be. So now we have a good ranger hero. Uh, we have the correct stock starting delays. Do we have the correct price? Always neutral heroes always have to cost 135 gold. Standard heroes used to always cost 100, so of course that was a fix that needed to be made. Um, and now we should be pretty good. And now we've, we've annihilated the Tinker and replaced it with the Ranger hero uh, so that we've done uh, what these guys want so that we don't have to deal with uh, the Tinker anymore. Let's see if anybody else has any balance tips. Uh, Spike Carapace should affect Carrion Beetles. Okay. Um, synergetic uh, would be that Carrion Beetles get the current level of Spike Carapace. Uh, okay. Well, see, the problem with that is the, the C++ code would have to change because you'd have to provide the Beatles with varying stats based on the hero. 
which probably, I mean, you could almost accomplish it here in the data editor, but you'd have to give the Crypt Lord an invisible copy of uh, something based off of engineering upgrade, which we just deleted the tinker, so we're not going to have that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. Mana constraints. Uh, it's not made it clear that the solution would be greatly reduce the mana cost and trade some more HP for lower damage. Oh, here we go. This guy's got it. Alright, we're going to do that. So we're going to go to summon Carrion Beetle. It might be spawn Carrion Beetle. Okay, I should just call Carrion Beetle. Yeah, here we go. Carrion Beetle. So reduce the mana cost. Okay. Uh, apparently their mana cost is too much, but it's, it's 30, so Crypt Lord, he's, in a, he's a strength hero, he doesn't have much mana, so it's only going to cost 10. It's like Blink. Uh, Blink only costs 10 after you level up, though, so the first one is going to be a little bit more. Alright, great, so we have that. Now we're going to go to the Carrion Beetle unit, and we're going to fix those so that their hit points is way, or are, excuse me, are, not is, uh, are way larger, so level 1 is 340, Level 2 is 550, and uh, level 3 is going to be 640. There we go. So now I fixed the, uh, the carrion beetles. Now the challenge here is he said they had too much damage. So we're just going to reduce that. Uh, it looks like when they're, that's right, when they're burrowed, they don't have any damage. That makes sense. And uh, yeah, okay. Well, now we've effectively reduced their damage in favor of giving them a good, uh, a good hit points. So, uh, let's see, people are asking about whether you tested the ability. All right, that's great. Uh, let's go and see what other uh, uh, suggestions people say about balancing. Oh, you could use DeepMind. Well, I don't have that, so we're not going to do that. Um, let's see, Undead Balance. Okay. Uh, this guy, he's like, he's very big. Alright, let's see. Uh, Night Elf is now overpowered. Uh, undead have no chance. I need a complete rework. Alright. Uh, overpowered, however. Dead versus human. Does anybody actually say what to type in? Or are we done here? Maybe we're done here. That is a long list of stuff. Alright. Well, I think we did pretty good. Uh, I think we've probably fixed Warcraft. Uh, is there anything else that was really toxic? I don't think so. I think we're good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to export the data. And uh, basically at this point, all you have to do if you want to fix uh, your Warcraft is you just go in your Warcraft folder where it says Warcraft 3 you make a new folder called uh, war3mod.mpq and you go in there and you call this uh, war3map w3u and then we change the abilities so we're going to call that uh, war3map w3a so you do that and see now what I have effectively done is I've fixed the balance of uh, Warcraft 3. So as you'll see here, I'm going to play, we'll just play a single player. Um, but if I just go in a custom game, uh, we'll just play Booty Bay. Everybody likes Booty Bay. Although actually, eh, let's play Frozen Throne map. You guys like Frozen Throne. Let's play, uh, let's play one of these LV maps, Frozen Clover LV. So to highlight the effectiveness of our changes, let's start with Orc and we'll make sure that we've gotten rid of the Bat Rider because those are toxic, so we're not going to have bat riders anymore. So let me just do a, do a fast build here. Uh, obviously, if you're really playing a game, uh, you'd want to really experience the balance as it was meant to be, which I'm not currently doing. Um, but we'll see when I build this forge, or war mill, excuse me, uh, that the war mill will not be able to get reinforced defense. Oh, it is able to get, okay, maybe we have a loading issue. We might have a loading issue on our, on our hands here, friends. Uh, let's check also, does Bestiary still train the bat? No, the Bestiary doesn't train the bat anymore. But I had thought that we fixed reinforced defenses to require a fortress instead of a stronghold. That didn't seem to have worked. Oh yeah, and I know why. Here's why. 
uh, we didn't we didn't export the upgrade layer. So let's do the other thing we had to do. Uh, just real fast here, right? Warfare map w3 h, right? I believe it's an h. Um, yeah, we'll start the game back up, and we'll see that we've fixed reinforced defenses and removed toxic bat riders uh, from the game. Let's play a different map this time, though. Uh, so last time we had frozen clover. Now we'll do floodplains. Uh, let's just check that out. All right. Um, here we go. So now uh, I should be able to see when I build one of these uh, war mills that we have correctly fixed as we intended. So that reinforced defense. Oh, it's not H. All right. It's Q. I think it's. I think it's a Q. Uh, what you can do at this point. If you do make that mistake, right, uh, like I just did, you just jump to your Warcraft folder, you jump to your War 3 mod thing. Here we go, HQ, can't do that, right? It's supposed to be a Q, I just messed it up. Great, now we're good. We'll play yet a different map, and on this other map, what we're going to do is we're going to see that we have correctly modified, um, we've correctly modified the stats. <laughs> Awesome. So here I am again with the orcs, and uh, we'll just build ourselves a war mill, and we'll see that we've totally made it so that the forge uh, has reinforced defenses, which requires the fortress, and uh, at the same time, we have to entirely, totally removed the toxic troll bat rider from the game, so you don't have that problem anymore. And if we go over here, now I really want a fast flying in it. Let's get... Uh, Let's get one of these wind riders. Um, we'll send them over. We'll know that we've added a different neutral here. We've removed the toxic tinkers from the game. Uh, so here my bat rider is just going to go pick up on that. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. We'll just go pick up our, uh, our new neutral hero today that we added, which is the ranger hero, which replaces the toxic tinker. So now there's not any more toxicity in the game. Uh, just as instructed, Apparently the ranger isn't isn't showing the icon today though, so that's not good. We're gonna have to fix that. But anyway, the tinker's gone. That's all that really mattered. Um, it looks like, yeah, it looks like I messed that one up. Uh, I think probably the solution would be to uh, go on the tavern and uh, put the ranger in here, which I think would be uh, probably that. Uh, what is it actually? Okay, uh, we need this secret key. VWD. Is it an H? HVWD? Oh, HVWD. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, I just had to make sure to get that right. So now we'll just put that in our uh, in our data layer here. And uh, let's get a map. We'll play on, I think, Korea. We start closer to a tavern, if I recall. So let's play on the Korea map this time. And you'll see that I have uh, effectively fixed the balance so that now the ranger hero is present and replaces that tinker. So that should be good. Uh, at the same time, I don't think we changed very much human balance, but we did change water elementals. So we'll see those here in a moment. Uh, let's just uh, let's, let's go ahead and upgrade the keep. So we'll do that. Let's go to our Archmage. We'll see the water elemental only has like 300 hit points instead of like 500. Uh, but in the meantime, we also want to get ourselves over to the tavern, which is hiding down here. Uh, in fact, maybe we could even send a water elemental. You'll even note the tooltip is updated. It even tells you it has 300 hit points uh, because the game has dynamic tooltip correction as we change these things. So that's very nice. Uh, but let's go ahead and get ourselves this ranger hero, which you now see is here present and has totally functional tooltip and cooldown systems and everything meshes in exactly how it should be, replaces the toxic tinker. Uh, now the challenge here being we want to uh, reset these timers so that we don't have to wait, which I don't know that there's any system to actually make that happen. So what we need to do is find a way to entertain ourselves. While we're doing that, uh, let's check out our change to the flying machine. Uh, they, had, they said uh, on the forum that they had too many hit points, so we reduced that. Uh, yeah, so you'll see now it's called Gyrocopter and only has 120 hit points because that's how it was meant to be anyway. It was meant to be trained Gyrocopter, right? And then when you're building uh, this, it says uh, Gyrocopter Bombs, right? Gyrocopters with Gyrocopter Bombs. So that's all good and well. 
uh, here's some some Murlocs over here as we can see and we're getting close to being able to train ourselves as rangers so we can see how that's been added effectively uh, you'd also note if you were the blizzard balance team and you're dedicated to doing absolutely everything correctly uh, I made the obvious mistake of not putting the five food cost on the ranger uh, but for our test session here today that doesn't actually matter uh, but obviously that's super critical for balance uh, so it's a very good thing that I fixed that right now in our test map. Now as you'll see this water elemental is probably still strong enough that I can still take this creep camp so at some point I think we're gonna be totally okay that we nerfed water elementals because it's just fine really and now you don't have like we've just removed toxicity entirely from the game and we've completely fixed Warcraft 3 by doing everything that everyone online suggested. Uh, now let me go get that ranger hero because we're about ready. Great. All right, here we go. Now we have the ranger hero. I got Lady Lalabeth. The ranger, you can tell I've greatly improved this game. Uh, we can go ahead and get some cold arrows to add those to my attacks uh, so that it's, you know, it's, it's working great. We, uh, we've we chilled this uh, forest troll. And with that, I think our chilling is successful. Uh, so probably what we'll do is uh, I think we need to, uh, now we need to publish this and release it uh, because we've spent a lot of time developing it, building everything accurately and uh, sufficient testing. Uh, so what we need to do now is uh, re release this to prod uh, so that the world can have it. So for that, uh, yeah, I guess I guess we'll we'll be, we'll be releasing uh, the data on this. Maybe what I need to do is upload online to somewhere the people could have it. But yeah, so basically, that, I just fixed the balance of Warcraft Three. As you can see, uh, anyone could do that. So if you ever want to complain about the balance of Warcraft Three ever again, uh, don't actually complain. Just do what I did. As you can see, it takes about twenty or thirty minutes and. Uh, now I have a, a playable functional Warcraft game. I can play all the maps, and I have entirely corrected the balance. So it's just absolutely how it should be. Uh, the best part, really, about this circumstance would be that if I go on, if I go on the public battle net, uh, you can go on there, right? And now I have my balance. It's better than everyone else's balance. So I can just log right in, and I can go and do a quick match play with my new balance, and then that way I can I can beat the other people. Uh, because I just fixed my game. So, I mean, we should be good in that regard, uh, really, that, like, I have just totally improved upon your Warcraft experience. So, having done that, uh, I hope you have a good day, and I hope that no one ever complains in these swarms about balance again, because as you've seen, uh, it's it should be very, uh, you know, 20 or 30 minutes you could fix everything. So, hope you have a good day.